Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On this video, I am going to be making pork belly tacos al pastor. We're going to be cooking it up on the big green egg with a little help from the jotisserie from Kamado Joe. Let's get going. I absolutely love tacos al pastor. And I really think one of the main reasons I like it so much is the background story. It kind of epitomizes one culture taking the dish from another culture and making it their own. And that's exactly what Tacos Al Pastor is. It was actually brought to Mexico way back when by Lebanese immigrants with shawarma. The Mexicans basically are making shawarma using their own ingredients. And uh, I love it. I just love it. We're going to start out by making the marinade. And I will be using about eight pounds of pork for this recipe. So the marinade is measured accordingly. So if you're using less, you may want to cut it down a little bit. So I have here two tomatoes that I roasted up in a skillet on my stove. And I just wanted to get a nice char on the skin. And that's going to help us peel off the skin, but it also adds kind of a, a deeper flavor to the tomato. So let's go ahead and get the skin off here. All right, now I'm going to simply cut the tomatoes in half. Scoop out the seeds here. And we will throw these into the blender. All right, the next thing we are going to add are eight guajillo chilies. These are dried chilies and five dried ancho or pasilla chilies. Now, earlier what I did was I took these chilies, I removed the stems, I removed the seeds, and I boiled them in water for about 10 minutes or so to rehydrate them. So these are gonna go into the blender. Now I'm going to be adding one large onion that's been roughly cut. Two smaller onions would be great. six chipotle peppers that were canned, and I added an additional one tablespoon of the sauce. Eight cloves of peeled garlic. Three quarters of a cup apple cider vinegar. One tablespoon Mexican oregano. Two teaspoons cumin. Six whole cloves of clove, <laughs> one half cup of pineapple juice, and I will be using fresh pineapple in this recipe as we start to cook. And one half cup of orange juice, good tablespoon of kosher salt, sea salt, table salt, whatever you want to use. Get this blended up here. And there you go. As you can see, it has a consistency of a thick sauce. Setting this aside, we'll get out that pork. Here's the pork belly I'm using. I removed the skin. And like I said, this thing, after the skin's been removed, I weighed it, it's eight pounds, four ounces. So we're making a lot of tacos with this belly here. The next thing I'm going to do is prepare the belly for the marinade and then ultimately the spit for that jotisserie. What I'm going to do is slice these into kind of like big cubes. Like I said, we're making a lot of tacos. Let's get these in the marinade. I have placed all the meat into this two and a half gallon zip top bag, which I absolutely love for doing marinades in. And we're going to be adding the marinade shortly. But I just want to say, looking at this quantity of meat, there's a chance we may have to limit the amount of this that I actually put on the spit for the jotisserie. I'm going to be sandwiching fresh pineapple between each chunk of meat, and it's going to get pretty darn long. This may be pushing the limits of the capacity of my cooker and that spit. So regardless, this will not go to waste. If there's any leftover, either I'll do another run or I'll smoke it or something. Let's go ahead and get this marinade in. Let's 
smells really, really good. I have all the meat fully coated with this marinade. Next step is simple. We're placing it in the fridge. I wouldn't go any less than four hours. I'm going overnight, which is what I suggest. So I will see you guys tomorrow. We're, we're going to be assembling all this meat, fresh pineapple on the jotisserie, and then firing up the big green egg. See you in a bit. Pork is marinated overnight. This is what we ended up with. As I removed the meat from the bag, I wiped off the excess marinade. Set this aside. Next step is to get ready to put the meat on the spit. Accompanying the meat is going to be fresh pineapple. So let's get this cut up here. Now we are going to cut this into discs and I'm going about, I don't know, half an inch and I am leaving the core in. The core is going to help provide some strength while it's on that spit. All right, that looks good. We will set this aside. All right, we are ready to put the meat on the spit and what I'm going to do is alternate pineapple with meat, starting with the meat. And I want to try to get all four of these tines into the flesh here. Nice. Place a disc of pineapple on here and I'm going straight through that core. All right, this is going to be our last piece of meat here. And we have two more chunks. So this is pretty impressive here. Let's get that last tine on. I'm calling it a tine. I don't know what they're calling it. And there we go. That is a nice chunk of food right here. I've got the big green egg all fired up. The jotisserie is on board. We're ready to cook this bad boy. I'll meet you out in the patio. And here is how the jotisserie sets atop my large big green egg. As you can see, very high quality aluminum ring and it's kind of a wedge shape. So it seals between the lid and the base and uh, fits perfectly. Very, very happy. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. Now I have the big green egg preheated for 250 degrees. Just that easy. And we are officially cooking. I have to tell you, I'm extremely excited about this jotisserie ring. I mean, when you think about it, the ceramic grill is probably the most versatile outdoor cooking system out there. The only thing that was ever lacking is a rotisserie. Now I've got one and we can do things like I'm doing today. I mean, think about it. I'm cooking low and slow, 250 degrees with a rotisserie. I mean, that's just so cool. So my plan is I'm going to maintain that 250 degree temperature. I'm looking at probably four to five hour cook. I'm really going for tenderness and I want to see a really nice color developing on the meat before I pull it. After the first hour, I will be basting it with a little pineapple juice just again to get some of that pineapple flavor going. And then when I pull it, we got another thing in store for you. So see you in a bit. We've been cooking now for four and a half hours. Check this out. Absolutely gorgeous and the smell is even better. I'm going to go ahead and pull the meat off the pit, let it rest a little while. In the meantime, I've got the Weber fired up and we're going to be searing this off and making tacos here very shortly. See you in a bit. All right, let's have some fun. Got the Weber fired up, ballistic griddle going. First thing we are going to do is make some homemade street sized tortillas. Set these off to the side here, keep them warm.
right now we're going to chop the meat and the pineapple into more manageable pieces. Get this on the flat top. And we're just looking for some nice caramelization on the meat and the pineapple. All right, now it's looking good. First thing I'm going to do is take two of these tortillas. Load them up with some meat and pineapple. Want to make sure we get some pineapple in there some onion and cilantro. It's new home for now. And then we're going to hit it with just a little salsa. Squeeze in some fresh lime. Give this a go. Good. One more. One more. Wow. I'm in San Diego, but I'm telling you, my heart right now is in TJ. So good. You cannot beat homemade tortillas. These taste like legitimate al pastor, but with the pork belly, it's just a lot more decadent, like a lot richer, if that makes any sense. There's, you know, a lot more fat going on, but so tender, so tender, and all the flavors are coming out. It's just very complex. The jotisserie, I'm telling you, that thing is killer, and I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of that. Uh, my wheels are spinning at warp speed right now. Anyway, before I keep blathering on, thank you guys for stopping by. Um, keep the suggestions coming in. I'm appreciating everyone. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.